this is going to be impacting everybody the major disruption will going to happen in the economy in the united states and globally as well this debt ceiling is gonna disrupt the economy in a major way particularly all those americans those people who are on social security benefits medicare benefits tax refunds military salaries interest payments on outstanding national debts will going to be affected watch this video till then we have got all the details right here in this video and also many experts are predicting a recession is clearly ahead with the changes happening in the u.s economy and extreme stock market volatility and looks like officially things will default and it could be very bad for the economy all the u.s citizens and now we'll take a look at those headlines like i said i'll be going to cover all the important details right here in this video so you can stay updated to the latest updates and this is just a breaking news the updates are still coming in so i will keep you up to date and because the congress cannot come to an agreement to raise it could soon be facing the biggest financial crisis in the history as republicans threaten to stop paying america's bills and the republicans in the house are saying that no stop the spending we are not going to increase the debt so we can continue to go further into debt and do outrageous spending until we balance the budget and they said that yes we are willing to put everybody at the risk because we need Need to stop this and we all know that inflation is putting everybody at risk we need to balance those things out carefully now what do you think about this do let me know in the comments down below now actually there is a way how we can avoid the catastrophe and it's really time to settle all the things down get the things back onto its track because the inflation and the interest rates and the things are just spiraling out of its control and honestly guys i want your input let me know your thoughts on this one and without a further ado let's cover all the important details what's just coming out right now but before we start this video make sure to check out our channel how to guys be sure to subscribe for all the important updates and without further ado let's get right into all the details okay so now the debt ceiling is gonna going to affect everybody in the united states not just the social security medicare veterans people on ssi ssdi all those we are talking about everyone in the us so without further ado let's talk about those details now we are going to cover all the details if you appreciate the updates make sure to hit that that like button for me smash that like button to stay updated to all the latest updates whether it's a good or bad it's my duty to keep you up to date on all the latest updates okay so what's really happening with the year's debt ceiling and what it really means for you so debt ceiling may trigger the serious fallout for americans many economists are warning and uh, let's cover all the major updates right over here and a default would create a chaos in financial markets and completely undermine the economy if the u.s were to default it would send several negative shock waves through the US and the global economics. Here are some ways it could affect the consumers and the investors. First, frozen federal benefits. So the tens of millions of Americans household might not get certain federal benefits such as Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, federal aid related to nutrition, SNAP benefits, veterans and housing benefits. So basically this government functions such as national defense may be also affected if the salaries of active duty military personnel are frozen second important thing a recession with job cuts so affected household would have less cash on hand to pump into u.s economy and a recession would seem to be inevitable under these circumstances and recession would be accompanied by thousands of lost jobs and higher unemployment third thing higher borrowing costs where investors generally view us treasury bonds and us dollars as safe havens but bondholders are confident in the us will give their money back with interest on time and us financial system that is the us treasury debt is risk free but if that's no longer the case then ratings agencies would likely downgrade the us sterling credit rating on the treasury bonds to compensate for the additional risk and therefore the borrowing cost would raise for american consumers since rates are on mortgages credit cards auto loans and other type of consumer debt are linked to these moments in the u.s treasury market and therefore businesses would also pay higher interest rates on their loans and fourth major change that will probably happen is extreme stock market volatility and of course that's assuming the businesses and consumers would get the credit there might be also a severe financial crisis if the u.s government is unable to issue additional 
treasury bonds and a default would send a shockwave through the global financial markets and would likely cause the credit markets worldwide to freeze up and stock markets to plunge and even the threat of a default during the 2011 debt ceiling uh, which is a crisis caused by standard and poor's to downgrade the credit rating of the us and generated considerable market gyrations mortgage rates rose by 0.7 to 0.8 percent points for two months and fell shortly thereafter and during that the s p 500 nearly fall 17 percent between july 22 and august 8 during that period the debt ceiling impasses in 2011 which was perhaps the closest brush the united states has had with the default according to the note published on thursday by wells fargo economics now this is not just going to be affecting certain people but this would certainly impact the entire world and i can see as of right now but let's specifically talk about those people people on social security medicare ssi ssdi what are the possible things we could be looking at so let's talk about it now us to avoid a default on its debt and some are sounding alarm about potential disruptions to the social security and medicare recipients on thursday january 19th US outstanding debt hit its limit and well the debt limit or debt ceiling is the total amount of the money us can borrow to meet its legal obligations including social security medicare benefits as well as military salaries tax refunds interest on national debt and other payments in january 13th letter treasury secretary janet yellen warned house speaker kevin mccarthy r Caleb, senate majority leader chunk schumer and other congressional leader of possible irreparable harm that could come to u.s economy and americans livelihoods and global financial stability if the problem goes unresolved and on thursday u.s began taking extraordinary measures to avoid defaulting on its obligations yellen wrote in an updated letter to congressional leaders and this thing is happening right now and they can't provide the exact details estimates of how long the government can expect to pay the government obligations through the extraordinary measures these negotiation over the federal debt ceiling will be the biggest challenges in new congress and mccarthy has agreed to tie lifting the debt ceiling to spending cuts that was advocates for the social security and medicare worried that lawmakers will try to amend those programs we are looking at early as June for trend rig on this issue and the consequences are dire because the default would not only disrupt the social security and medicare beneficiaries but also cause a global economic recession or even worse and well how the benefit payment could be delayed well if yes were to default on its debt it would be unprecedented and the big question is whether the treasury department would able to prioritize what does and what does not get paid if that occurs unlike a government shutdown down, where social security and medicare benefits continue to flow that may not be the case with a default and there is a good chance that benefits for retirees and people with disabilities and survivors would be disrupted even a short delay could interfere with beneficiaries ability to pay for health care food rent and utilities and other necessary expenses the national committee preserves social security and medicare said in the statement on thursday treasury department may able to prioritize some payments and that would include social security payments however the social security administration may delay the payments just to ensure that it has enough cash on hand meanwhile speaking of the medicare payments they may fluctuate while other areas like federal employee salaries and food benefits through the snap supplemental nutritional assistance program may stop completely and the process may be politically messy but it can happen social security and I'm sure will be get paid interest on debt will get paid after that a flip a coin who gets paid now why some worry about social security benefit cuts well as house of republicans plan to focus on curbing government spending some worry that could entail cuts to social security benefits and medicare in exchange for votes to increase or to suspend the debt limit among these ideas republicans have pitched including raising social security's full retirement age to 70 and changing the way 
employee benefits and how the annual cost of living adjustments are measured to make them less generous are making it so that benefits are means tested through the middle class moreover they could raise the medicare eligibility to age 67 right from the age 65 to make those changes there would need to be enough support in the senate with 60 votes and actually that's a pretty high threshold and i don't think there would be 60 votes in the senate to do the benefit cuts while white house has also indicated that it is not willing to negotiate president Biden made clear Congress must deal with the debt limit and must do so without conditions. For social security reform to process successfully, both parties would need to come to table and willing to make concessions. It would be difficult to include social security in the debt ceiling negotiations and with the social security you are going to have a grand bargain that includes changes to the benefits formula and revenue increases. And that's not just something they can get it done in a debt crisis crisis environment what do you think about it do let me know in the comments down below make sure to hit that subscribe button make sure to check out our channel how to guys be sure to subscribe for all the important updates i will keep you up to date on all the important news that's hitting the news and this is kedar from how to guys signing out